was soft. So initially today's plan was to imitate the color grade of this particular shot from Oppenheimer. But then I thought, why not just recreate the shot itself? But there is one problem. I don't have this type of clothes. So I think we'll have to do it without that particular cloth. I'll try to find something formal that looks like, I don't know, like a scientist? Not sure. But we're going to take the shot right over here because that particular shot was also taken just beside a window. Uh, now, of course, it was an artificial light outside the window. For us, we cannot really do that because I live in the fifth floor. Um, but we're gonna make do and we're gonna figure it out. Now, this is a lavender colored polo that I've got. And uh, I think I can take care of the lavender and make it white while I'm color grading. He's wearing like four different layers, bro. I cannot demonstrate that. I, okay, I found myself a muffler and a jacket, uh, which does not match the theme at all. I know, I know this looks ridiculous this is a japanese themed biker jacket very far from what a scientist would wear but let's have a look i mean i mean it's it's no i mean it's it's nowhere close <laughs> but we're, we're gonna work with this we're gonna work with this uh, so we are in front of the window i have made my hair look uh like an ancient scientist but uh, the only problem is I don't think they used a, such a wide lens. Their face felt a lot more flatter and uh, the background was a lot more blurred. So I'll switch to the 50mm f1.8. Give me a second. Okay, I think this lens will do the exact work that I'm looking for. Here we go. Except there is one problem. The shot is overexposed. I'm going to put on the ND filter on it. Now, that is much better looks good honestly my hair needs to go this way okay not from there though the partition of his hair is like somewhere in the middle it's like a little bit to the one side of the middle and the hair is very messy towards the side and everywhere else okay it doesn't look half bad these three different layers of clothing it's sort of getting the look that i wanted okay so i'm looking at the shot right over here and uh, I initially thought that we will need a negative fill right over here to darken this side of the face but, but I think it is reflecting perfectly fine and I just also noticed there is a little bit of edge light on this side of his face which is not really happening on my face so I think I'll just get uh, extra light from somewhere in, down the hall so it gives a little bit of edge light. Okay so this is the LC that we're going to use. I think we need to place it as far back as possible and very low intensity. So I'm going to set it to something around 5600, which is the uh, general temperature of daylight. Now let's have a look on the finder. I think, oh, that looks perfect. Actually looks perfect. Okay, bro was paranoid as fuck. So yeah, I've got my shot over here, found a pretty good frame. I've also got the shot of Killian Murphy. Uh, I moved it a little bit to the left so that I can take a still. And then, so basically what you have to do, I'll just, you come here, uh, that shot, you take, grab a still, and then you take whatever shot you want. And then if I, I with this selected, I can start a comparison. Okay, from the left to the right or whatever I want. I want this so that I can look at the colors and uh, understand how well the colors are matching and everything. Okay, so let's get started with the S-Log3 base. And uh, this shot looks very nice of the rip just with S-Log3. So this actually looks pretty good. But we need a greenish look. But before going into the greenish look, first let's take care of the exposure. Right, so I think... The lift needs to go down quite a lot for this. I think minus seven, minus eight would be fine. And the gain is uh, absolutely fine, I feel like. The gamma can sort of be going down a little bit. The gain can come up just a tad bit. Uh, they have a really good catch light in his eyes that I did not, that I honestly forgot to keep. That would have been really great. Um, okay, perfect. Uh, so now going into the uh, wide balance, I think little less temperature and add in a little bit of tint is what we want. But I'm going to come to that wide balance part later because uh, it is going to change a lot depending on the grade. 
right so in the grade i'm going to add a little bit of green in the gain and add a little bit of yellow as well in the gain i think that's too much green that's good and add a little more yellow i'm just looking at the background mostly uh, because the skin texture and the skin tone we're going to take care of later uh, okay in the mid tone i'll add a little bit of red little bit of red so the skin tone is sort of managed in the lift i will add a little bit of green i think i don't think lift may green is needed i'll increase the lift just a little bit to get that so kind of a faded look you know uh, or i'll just do it with the curve okay i'll go to exposure get to the curve this curve create something over here and just increase it and just point it upward a little bit so that we get a little bit of a faded look perfect uh, now we will of course try to make the s curve just slightly nothing too much i will keep the the contrast that is going on and uh, Coming to the grade, I think this looks pretty good. Uh, the background does not look the same color though. So coming to the white balance, I think we can add a little more tint to this shot. Okay, so we have this shot. I think the background is, uh, it, it needs a little less of this and a little more of this, I feel like. I think that that is okay. Uh, I think the exposure of the gamma can come up a little bit. Okay, that looks cool. I think we should have had a little more contrast between the two sides of the faces uh, because he does not have any light, almost any light on this side of the face. So yeah, that's one problem that we had. So now moving on to the density, I'm going to increase the density just a little bit. By the way, you can look at how I work with density and the cinematic saturation in this particular video. But other than that, we get a little more like blood flowing into the skin. This is before and this is after. You can see in the skin. Uh, I'll increase again just a little bit more. Uh, this is before, this is after. So it adds a little more texture, a little more warmth into the skin. Uh, I'm losing more words. This hairstyle looks ridiculous, but yeah, okay. Now let's get to the skin with this qualifier node i'm going to reset the grade of this and uh, try to get the skin tone because the skin tone here is not green it is, it is completely different so it has to be a mask i'm going to get the skin tone over here let's see how the mask looks like the mask looks pretty decent i'm just going to get rid of the background i don't really want the background much uh yeah i think that looks good i'm going to increase the pre-filter just a little bit and the blur radius just a tad bit and uh, let's get our comparison going once again okay not that comparison going and in this i need to add i feel like a little bit of orange i think that is the color and then we need to get rid of a little bit of the saturation so that okay that looks perfectly well for me uh, for this particular shot in on Killian Murphy he has a very cooler undertone in his skin tone I however have a warmer undertone because I'm Indian so getting exactly this color will be a little bit tough uh, I can probably add uh, I can probably like get down the temperature a little bit so we, I have a similar tone in the skin but other than that I will also add a little bit of tint to get the very slight greenish look in the skin as well but there is another problem this particular qualifier note has caused as you can see the mask is not just on our face it also has some background things going on so that we have to take care of i'll take this and get rid of this i'll try to get as best i can onto the just onto the skin and nothing else okay so this was looking uh, better far better uh, but to get the background I think I'll just use a power window and put it on my face like I just need this much guys I don't need the background to change color perfect I think that looks much much better now uh, the, my face is still a little too flushed out i will say 
Uh, so I'll just get this on and reduce the density probably. I think it's a little too much. If I undo the density and uh, add a little bit of temp, oh, I cannot do it from here. If I undo the density and decrease the temperature of the shot just a little bit, I think we can get a very similar look. As I said, the skin tone is very hard to get right because we share, as I said, the skin tone is very hard to get right because we are from different ethnicities and we have different undertones. Uh, but yes, I think that looks pretty good. All right, I think that looks good. Uh, I will also do a skin refinement wala node. Skin refinement right here. If you have the studio version, uh, you can use this. But yeah, to understand this, first we have to detect faces in the frame and then track it. Okay, we have our face. I'm just going to jump to the exact position that we were working on. Let's hide the overlay. And I think skin texture, we need more texture, bro. We need more texture because Killian has a lot of texture on his face. So beauty automatic, if I increase it, it becomes more, uh, it looks bad. It looks like Snapchat. I'm going to decrease it a little. And then skin grading, I can add a little more contrast, but it does not look that good, honestly. Uh, in uh, side lighting, I'm not going to touch side lighting much. And uh, then to eyeshadow, I don't think we need to touch that either. In eyes, his eyes are really, really sharp in this shot. So I'm going to add a little bit of sharpness as well. And a little bit of brightness, very slightly. Eye light, I'm just going to keep it where it is. Uh, eye bag removal. I can do a little bit, but if it's a scientist, bro, we just need to have eye bags. Uh, there is no teeth, there is no blush, forehead. In forehead, this is only about, uh, I can make it smoother. I cannot make it rougher. Okay, so that's the problem. The skin tone is still a little bit off. Other than that, everything looks pretty cool. I can also add another mask on the other side of the face to make it a little more darker. I think that looks good. I will add another mask on the other eye as well. So that the eye, uh, the second eye is not very dull. Okay, that mask looks good. I'll increase the softness just a little bit. And then I'm going to increase the brightness of the eye. That looks a little too much. It looks unrealistic. So I think this much it should be fine. I'll keep the mid-tones where they are. I'm just going to play with the highlights of that eye and make it go higher. Perfect. Let's move the midtones a little bit down. And yep, yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's just fix the collar uh, because this is way too bluish. I will get another mask going on right over here. This, I guess, encapsulates the collar quite well. And I'll try to get, try to, and I'll try to not get any other blue tone into it. I'll just decrease the blue overall and decrease the saturation as well. So that will make that make it look more uh, whitish. I'll add a little more temperature and a little bit of tint. So it looks uh, like a little bit of uh, greenish yellow, not too much, not too much. Then I'll increase the offset just a little bit or maybe the gain works better. Yeah, that looks better. So this was before. This was before and this is after. Okay, so this is what we have, the final shot.